Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury today. Some new, some old. I can't wait to show you guys how I created this look. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> channel please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell join my glam fam I do upload new videos every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and when I'm not on YouTube you can follow me at Christy Lart on Instagram please give this video a huge thumbs up as well it really helps me out you guys this is gonna be a long video because I have a lot of products from Charlotte Tilbury I'm so excited to do this I am gonna show the timeline right there of everything I'm doing today so if there are certain areas you want to get to you can fast forward but I would really love for you guys to stay and watch the whole thing it's also available on the time bar and in the description box. I do also include all of my links in the description box. And as I always ask you guys, if you could please utilize those links, if you see any of these products that you really want to get, I, it does really help me out and it helps support my channel. So I appreciate that. I also have my Amazon store and my Macy's storefront as well. So you can check out all those items I include. I will go over some of these fashion items at the end of the video, but let's just jump into the application process. All right, you guys, let's just jump right into this because there's so much to cover with Charlotte Tilbury. I have so many of her products sitting in front of me right now. I'm a little overwhelmed myself. So we're going to start in with the primer. So I will show the details on the left hand side. I'm not going to jump too far into the details of each thing just because there's just just way too much to cover. I did put the magic cream on you guys. Uh, I had like a little sample of it, so I'm trying it out. It is really soft, and that's all I have on right now. So very excited about that. We're just going to put this Wonder Glow Primer on and just kind of massage it into your face. I did put uh, a little bit of this on as well, my Tula. I talked about this in my last video. So good. So, so, so good. So I have a little bit of both on, keep my skin nice and hydrated. I am gonna go in with her Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I have been really loving this. This is just the travel size. I always, I know I always talk about the price differences and I'll put them right there between the travel size per, you know, what you pay per gram or per ounce, whatever the product is. But sometimes, like I said in my Hourglass video, if you haven't checked out that full face, please be sure to check that one out as well, is that sometimes you just want to test it out and see if you really, really like it. And and for me, it's like if I break out and I don't want to waste my money. So I have never tried this. This is her color corrector, and I got all of this, a lot of this in the VIB Sephora sale. I will be uploading that video soon of my haul. This is two medium, and this is like a under eye dark circle corrector. So we're gonna try it out. I don't know, my camera just doesn't want to pick up that color, but I'll put it right there. It's like a peachy tone. I like this one because it's like the perfect peach color I think a lot of them tend to be a little too peach you know so they scare me a little I don't have too bad of dark circles but I do have some so we're just gonna put that on and then we're gonna cover that up a little bit with concealer before we go in with the foundation so obviously peach is going to cancel out any kind of dark circles you have under your eye and I just use this one with the finger a lot of my color correctors I just find better just to kind of place it in with your finger. Actually, you should be using your ring finger, not your middle finger. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Oh, that's really nice, you guys. But yeah, that's nice. It's a nice, beautiful, peachy, perfect tone color. I am going to go in with her Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and this is in number five, which is light, medium with all undertones. 
I really wasn't sure, you guys. It's so difficult when you're buying online, let alone in this uh, COVID state that we're in. So let's hope it works. The one thing I read about this was, I've never used this, this is first impression, is that it takes a lot to click it up. And I did play with the color a little bit and I did notice that I was clicking for a very, very, very long time. So I think she needs to come up with a better application <laughs> or uh, situation. Cause I heard in the, I heard, I read in the comments uh, in the Sephora website that a lot of people actually really liked this concealer. They just don't like the application. So hopefully she reads those comments. See, look at even just, I'm, I mean, I already did it 10 times when I first tried to see if this was the right color. Cause I was going to, go get a new one if it wasn't. So that's number five on my skin tone. So we'll see how that works out. And I'm just gonna place a little bit in there with my finger. Again, I'm going in with the wrong finger, but that's okay, because I've already got the concealer on there. They say to use your ring finger just because it's more delicate, uh, you know, touch is your ring finger. All right, so yeah, I mean, look at how dirty it gets. And now I'm gonna put that in the wand and waste product. So I'm actually just gonna keep it out for right now since we're gonna use that. I'm not very fond of that. Actually, let's just go in and kind of cover up some of my imperfections. My skin was doing really good and then it just got reactive again, so. And sometimes by doing that, I talk about this a lot on my channel, is that you're using less foundation and I don't really have that much in this little guy, so. We'll see. Again, this is number 7.5. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Again, I will put the details right there of the product. And that looks like actually a really good color. And I was gonna go with six. So I'm glad I didn't, because I think that's gonna be a good match. All right. Might be a little dark. I probably could go with the six. I don't know, I'd have to try it out. This would be a good summer color though, for sure but as I get more pale during the winter, I'm afraid. So we did that, and I think I'm just gonna apply this one with a brush. I'm gonna go in with this NYX Cosmetics brush. You guys know I love this brush. And I do wanna try out her brushes. Uh, they look pretty nice, so no good feedback online. So eventually I'll have to get my hands on that. It's a slow process, I'm buying all my own makeup. So all of these products are just because I'm doing a full face, it doesn't mean like I'm sponsored or anything, you guys. I don't get PR or anything like that. Sometimes I get free stuff sent to me sometimes. It's very, very rare, but uh, sometimes I do. But a lot of these products I buy on my own. So these are all my own money and I'm gonna give you the honest to goodness truth. So I really wasn't like ecstatic about this foundation when I first did the uh, when I was actually, it was the video where, I'll show it right there, where I tried out her magic serum and that broke me out, unfortunately. It was a really beautiful serum, but just too heavily fragranced. So my skin is very textured right now and I do feel like this foundation does accentuate that texture and I think that's the problem I had last time too. But Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of go over it and just kind of make sure we're kind of pulling away some of the product because it is a thicker foundation. I just want to make sure that it's not going to get too cakey. But I really think this is the perfect color for me. I actually think this is a very, very, very beautiful color. Wow. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. You guys know I talk about this product a lot on my channel for quite a bit of time now. This is the perfect way to glow. So I have number four, which I typically use, but I did purchase number three during the sale because I wanted to get one with more of like a highlight. And this one has more of like a peachy tone to it, but it might look different when it's blended out. So that is number four and that's number three. So yeah, you can see the difference, but blend it out, it actually might work. So actually the two together look really pretty too. While we have it right here, I'm just gonna take it with my fingers and just kind of pat it. And all I do is the high points of my face. I don't really do it anywhere else. See how like just healthy your skin looks with this stuff? Oh, I just love this stuff. And I like to do it before my concealer because I like that under eye area to really be mattified. So. 
Before we go in with concealer, I wanna try out her Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I mean, the feedback online is excellent, and I've heard other YouTubers talk about this product, so very excited to try this out. This is in Fair Medium, and I think there's a Fair Dark, so I'll show it right there. Come on, I think you squeeze it out. Is there like instructions? Is this like kid-proof or something, or is this just one not coming out? Oh, it locks, I think. Oh, there's an inner lock right here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This little like foam thing right there is what you're where you can kind of go like that. But you have to unlock it. Oh, 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 skills to pay the bills. Oh, okay, whoa, okay. This is, I'm glad I got fair medium. That's pretty dark, so, ooh, okay. She pretty. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit. It's scares me to do a lot. So this is with the brush on this side. I'm going in little by little because I just would rather build than it all go wrong. So the only thing I can say about this foundation right now is I do feel like it's really accentuating my breakouts, my lovely breakouts. We're gonna build this up a little bit more. And I didn't squeeze any more out. I'm just kind of working with what I have on the brush or the little foam thing. And don't worry, trust the process. It looks messy now, but once you do your concealer and everything else, that's when contour pulls together. I like it though. I love this contour wand. Why didn't I try this before? Okay, let's do it on our nose and see how that works. And I haven't really squeezed anything excess out of this. I'd rather get it mostly off that sponge so that when I put the cap on, I'm not wasting a ton of product. I am looking at this concealer just being absolutely disgusted. Okay, this is not a good applicator at all. So we're gonna just go in with the concealer right now. Actually, let me take a little small mirror and just kinda go where I guess I would normally do it. Oh, that's a little too thick. Oh, this is a really difficult one to uh, distribute. Um, let me just put this on the back of my hand, get the gooeyness off. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is one that you might wanna just kinda put it on the back of your hand. That's way too much concealer. Look at how much I just wasted. That's how much I just wasted of the concealer. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be way too much concealer. Way, way, way too much. Oh goodness, okay, you know what? Gotta go in the, be uh, the sponge. That's, it's a thicker concealer, so you have to be careful. Yeah, it was way too much. The color is pretty though. The packaging needs help, but the color is pretty. Yeah, the coverage and the actual concealer is really nice. I actually think I like it with the blender more than with the brush on this one. It just blends it very nicely. I'm gonna take it down here, kind of cut in that contour a little. There's nothing on this sponge. I am literally just blending at this point, making sure everything is just flawlessly meshing together. Now let's go in with the powder. So you guys already know what a fan I am of her airbrush. Flawless finish powder. This is number two, obviously. I'm like almost hitting pan, but I have standbys. <laughs> so I just want to use up what I can. And then I have the number one, which is fair. And I like this one lately for setting underneath my eyes. So let's uh, take my Smashbox. Uh, I know I use a lot of Smashbox brushes. This is just the powder like angled brush and we're gonna go in with the number one and we're just gonna kind of lightly dust that. Not too much, like you wanna kind of get it off. See, it's kind of, uh, you wanna make sure to get off some of it and just kind of lightly, it just brightens that under eye area and sets it really nicely. Especially since I don't really have a loose powder of hers, which I do want to try her loose powder. I just couldn't afford to get everything, you guys, so I had to kind of go small. But this is a really nice one to brighten underneath the eye area. I really like it. And then I just kind of take this one on the forehead because sometimes I like it to be kind of bright down there as well. Just like where I would do my normal highlight, 
is where I like that, but very beautiful. All right, now we're gonna take the number two and go all over the face. Okay, now I'm gonna take the airbrush bronzer and this is number two. And I like setting my cream contour with this color. So I am going to take my little, tiny little Chica Hoto PS2. I think this is the cheek PS2 one. And I'm just gonna set that one down. So it feels a little wet still, so that's why I'm kind of just blotting it in right now. This is a really good color too. It kind of has like that nice, uh, you know, let's try it down. Nice little uh, cool tone a little bit to it. You know, not so warm like the tan one that I use for bronzer. I'm just kind of going over that contour area that I hit with the contour wand. I'm just really warming up the face and just making sure everything's in there. I'm gonna take my uh, Scott Barnes uh, eyeshadow brush. You guys know I like using this one for nose contour for powders. So good. And just kind of go down where I did that nose contour earlier with the fat brush. But yeah, very pretty. All right, now let's take a little bit of the number two. I know, it's a lot of powders. And we're going to cut the face. So I'm going to take my Stands Out Beauty sponge. And I just talked about that in the applicator video. I love setting this. I should have done the, actually I can still do it under the eye a little bit. Love just contouring with this thing. I like it because typically I love my Morphe sponge because it has the little edge to it, but I like the texture of the Dose of Color sponge for doing my makeup. And now I have this guy and I can just use this to do the cutting like I would normally do with the Morphe one. So I really like that. And then all I do is just take like a, this is just a real Techniques brush and just kind of dust that off a little. I'm not like baking the area, I'm just cutting it down a little. All right, now I'm gonna do the under eye with this guy, I forgot. Let's see, it might be a little too intense with the number one, but we'll see. So this is the airbrush number one I'm taking. I'm just gonna kind of lightly set that. It just sets so nicely, this sponge. I love it for that. You can use this for everywhere if you want. I just like it for powders mainly, more than with cream products, just personally. All right, you guys, so I did my eyebrows off camera and now let's just jump into this eyeshadow because I'm so excited. So I have two eyeshadow palettes from her. I have the Dazzling Diamonds and I'll show them right there with the swatches. That's the Dazzling Diamonds. I mean, just incredible swatches. I've never tried her eyeshadows, so extremely excited for that. And then this one is Desert Haze. So I liked these tones. That's why I decided to wear brown today. Very beautiful color story. And I will show the swatches of those right there. I mean, incredible swatches. So creamy and so rich, those swatches. I have never tried her eyeshadows, so I'm so excited to try it out on camera and give you guys my first impression. And then this one is Dazzling Diamonds, and this is all like just gorgeous, sparkly, beautiful, perfect for holiday season. So I'm gonna take my Sonia G Worker 2. You guys know I've been loving this brush, and I'm gonna take this shade right there. And I'm just gonna pop that as like, oh, it's very peachy actually. I thought that was gonna be more of a bone color. Okay, so we'll just keep that right there because that was not what I was expecting. Because these mattes are just really pigmented and I'm not really gonna use that one today, I'm gonna stick to more of those two, I need a transition shade and there isn't obviously one in here. So I'm going to use her airbrush bronzer, which I always do anyway, you guys. That is kind of my, my jam right there. So I'm gonna take my Chica Hoto brush and uh, just the Z series uh, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pop that into the eyes, uh, just like the transition area. So pretty, huh? Isn't that just a gorgeous shade to just give you that nice wash of color? And you guys know I love the monochromatic look, so I always use my bronzer as my shadows, especially that initial transition shade, and it just blends right into that nose contour since I did use this uh, to 
uh, set my cream contour, the wand. But very beautiful. See how that just gives you a nice wash of color. All right, so that's our first transition shade. Now we're gonna go into this color right here. It's just so creamy. I mean, do you see that? I, it's just incredible. I showed you the swatches, but my goodness, I have never seen mattes that creamy. And I have Viseart palettes. I have obviously Pat McGrath and a lot of the other brands. And wow, that's in gorgeous mattes. I mean, unbelievable. Okay, so let's go in with a little bit smaller of a brush because we don't want this to go out too far. You know, we want the transition shade to stay there. So I think I'm gonna take this Sonia G uh, Crease Pro brush. I'm gonna dip that into there. No fallout either, that's nice. All right, let's just tap it off. Oh, it's a little powdery, so make sure you tap off. All right, I need a bigger mirror because that, that's not gonna work for me. So let me go back to my little Reiki mirror and then we'll just put that right here and just start it right, really like right below that transition shade like I normally do. Wow, these mattes blend like a dream. Oh. Why have I never tried her shadows before? Because they're kind of pricey, that's probably why. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is gorgeous. That is a beautiful color. And this is that little tiny palette that you can take with you everywhere. I mean, seriously, you'll always use these colors and it's a girl like me, it's her dream come true because it's very warm. I'm not worried about being, um, I'm just kind of placing the pigment in there and then I'm gonna blend it out with the other brush. Do you guys see how easy that just blends? I mean, seriously. Let's go in with the darker color now and we're gonna take my mini booster from Sonia G and we're gonna dip that into this brown right there, the darker brown. And we're just focusing this one on the outer area. Now that I have the placement of that, I'm going back in with that other color, the lighter one, and on back onto that Sonia G brush and just going on top of it now. Now I'm gonna take an even fluffier brush. I'm gonna take this Zoeva 228. There's nothing on it really, and I'm just gonna kinda blend it together. Now let's kinda go on to the lower lash line. We're gonna take this Morphe No Number brush, just a really uh, thin pointed brush, any brush will work, and really go as tight as I can to that lash line. Gosh, that color is so beautiful. I'm gonna take this rougher brush, this is number one. I'm gonna go back in with that uh, number two bronzer, and I'm just gonna kinda diffuse out the those edges. So pretty, right? So blown out and smoky and sultry. I love this look. All right, now let's go in with a tighter flat head brush, like a liner brush. So we're gonna take that darker color on this brush, this crown one, and then we're just gonna kind of pull that really tight in here. It's creating like a liner. Going back in with that red color and just kind of diffusing out any of the edges. I think we're gonna go in with this like just gorgeous like chocolatey brown color. So pretty. I'm gonna place these in with my finger because I have a feeling they'll just be better with your finger. Oh wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. I mean, I didn't expect anything less from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I have to go in with a brush now because my finger's too too big. So we'll go in with this little crown thin concealer. I think it's actually like a lip brush. And I think lip brushes are the best actually for getting into these little areas. Wow, that is a gorgeous color. Oh my goodness. So a little bit of fallout, but no biggie. Take my Sephora sweeper and just sweep off a little bit of that from the glitters, no big deal. Just a teensy bit. I'll take it because that is Gorgeous. All right, let me go in with my finger on the other side. 
All right, we're gonna go in with the lighter one in the center. It's, it's not that much lighter, but it's so pretty. I can't wait to play with that blue though. Oh my goodness. Stop it, you guys. <laughs> so pretty. This is like Natasha Pat, typical Viseart type shadows. I mean, just typical, typical, typical. So beautiful. I mean, do you see that color? How beautiful is that? For blue eyes, brown eyes, I don't care what color eyes you have. Wow. Just going back in with that other brush and just kind of diffusing out the edges, bringing the darker color back in. Wow, that is so pretty. All right, I wanna try something here. So I just bought the Kat Von D, uh, I think this is Kat Von D. Oh no, the Anastasia eyeliner brush. I will put the number right there. I'm gonna try going in with that darker one and kind of just like giving a little bit of a wing right there. We're gonna just try that out. I've never tried this brush before. Just like a little flick like that. Ooh, I like that. I saw a makeup artist do this. Uh, makeup by Spencer, he's so phenomenal. He likes to use, he's like me, he's not a big liner fan, and he likes to use his shadows, he says, as liner. And I thought, you know what, I need to do that. And it kind of just blends into the shadow too. And then I'll blend it in in a second. Where's my uh, brush? All right, we're gonna use this color right there as the inner corner highlight. Ooh, that's pretty. And we're gonna take the Superstar Glow highlighter there over it, so I'm not really concerned. This is more of like a topper color, I wanna say, than more of a, like, here's pigment. So I'm not really filling it so much for the inner corner. I think this is definitely more of a topper color. Let's just put it on top just to see. See how that swatch, I think you even saw it, is not as like, um, oh yeah, it's definitely a topper. Do you see that? That just gave it that little bit of dazzle. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna clean up my eyes, pop on my lashes and then we'll finish up the video with the lips and cheeks and then wrap it all up and give you my final thoughts. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I popped on my lashes and let's just finish up this look. I'm so excited. So I just love this eyeshadow, but we'll go into that in my final thoughts. Let's go with the blush and the bronzer. I'm sorry, the blush and the highlighter. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So the blush is not new. It's just new to me because I've never tried her blush before. So very excited, very beautiful. Oh, look at it, it matches me, the brown. Very pretty packaging, very Charlotte Tilbury-esque. And then this is the Pillow Talk Intense. And it comes in, I think like two other shades I'll show right there. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have that. And then we also have the highlighter, the Superstar Glow Highlighter. I have been dying to try this out. This is, again, normal Charlotte Tilbury type packaging. I typically like more of a rose gold. This is more of like a matte silver, but it's still beautiful. I mean, so pretty. Ugh. And this is more of like a rose gold highlight versus, I don't wanna drop it. Oh, that's pretty. So it has like the, oh, I like that. So kind of like the inner mix of the silver and the rose gold. Oh my goodness, you guys, how pretty is that? Oh. So pretty, oh, so creamy to touch. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, I'm gonna show right there all of my highlighters next to each other that I have been rating lately. I mean, just beautiful. Every single one of them is so pretty. And I'm sure this Charlotte Tilbury one is gonna be absolutely stunning. All right, let's go in with the blush first. So I'm just gonna go in with my IT Cosmetics blush brush and we are just going to try this pillow talk intense out let me swatch this for you guys so very pretty you get like two different colors with this so if you intermix them it kind of has like that burgundy color so you can kind of go a little bit lighter in the middle or build up with the deeper one or intermix the two also let's go in with my Chica Hoda one because it's a lot fluffier 
and it's not synthetic, so I think it's, I think this is gonna be, I think it's gonna be intense. All right, let's try this out. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and I love that it's a matte bronzer. I love matte bronzers, you guys. I think they flatter all skin tones. Yeah, I'm so glad I went in. That was even a bit aggressive. I'm just gonna take a powdered brush and just kind of, well, you have to go super light-handed. If you're using a synthetic brush, I would recommend going very light-handed. But this is not a brush, a, bl a brush. This is not a blush you have to build up, you guys. That is beautiful. I almost would have liked even just the pillow talk, I think, just the normal one. So, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I might have to try out the pillow talk, the original one, because wow, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna go off my hand a little bit just to kind of make sure I blend. And all I have underneath is just the bronzer. Oh, you guys, that's so pretty. Wow. Wow, I have a lot of texture on my cheeks and it's going over it, very beautiful. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. It is just so stunning, you guys. I like that I don't have to sit there and build it up, it's nice. But if you're not a big blush person, I probably would go down to the Pillow Talk, not the Pillow Talk Intense, because <laughs> that's intense. <laughs> I do want to get the other one though, because I extremely love the formula. All right, let's try out the highlighter now. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, we'll go in with my, my method, I do, which is my Wayne Goss first, and then I'll go in with my Linda Halberg and build it up. So let's just go in there. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, that really picks up a lot. Again, be mindful of that. I mean, it's Charlotte Tilbury, so it doesn't surprise me. All right, let's go in. Actually, this is a pretty big mirror right here, so maybe we'll just try doing it with this mirror right here. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hello highlighter. Hello, going over texture so beautifully. And typically I like more gold highlighters, like my Molten Glow. Gold is very gold and I like that, but I love that this gives that like rose gold finish. Oh, you guys, that is so pretty. Let me just buff that over here. I got it a little too far. Nothing you ever can't fix. This is just a Sonia G buffer brush. Yeah, oh my gosh, that highlighter is insane. This is not one you have to build up. Do you guys notice like the Natasha one and the Pat McGrath one I just rated? As much as I love both of them, you have to build them up, which is nice because you can't really, it's goof proof. But I love that this one just goes on so intense. I'll just put it on my nose like that. Cupid's bow. Put a little bit right here. I mean, why not? Oh, that is the star of the show. Oh my gosh, I love that highlighter. All right, let's build it up just a little bit more. I know it's already intense, but I just wanna see. I've been rating a lot of highlighters lately from Pat, Natasha Denona, the new one, to the Pat McGrath new one, to the new Huda Beauty Nymph one I did last week, and now this one, this one, this might be number one out of all of them. Wow. Wow, okay, Linda Helberg 306, and we're just gonna kind of, I'm gonna do it right here, just kind of build. Oh, hello, hello shine. All right, let's go with the blush brush again and just kind of go over that area, just to make sure that we have lines diffused out. Oh, so beautiful. All right, let's move on to the lips. So I already owned her Pillow Talk lip liner, but I did get her lip gloss in Pillow Talk and it comes in, I think, one other shade. I'll put it right there. Oh goodness, that's so pretty. It's like very pink, more pink than I even imagined. Very beautiful. And then I got her little lip trio, mini lip wardrobe of her famous lipsticks. So I've never tried her lipsticks. There's three different shades in this. I'll show it right there. And we'll go with how cute, they're like little mini ones. <laughs> These are great little stocking stuffers though. So pretty, so Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, don't buy this packaging thinking you're paying that little for this many lipsticks. 
Oh, that's pretty. That's like a really pretty like mauve pink. And I'll put it on my hand. Oh, so pretty. Then we have a little bit darker one. This one's like a dark, like mauve. Very pretty. I'll do it this way. Ooh, I like that one actually. Kind of has like a brownish mauve to it. We'll put that one aside because we might use that. That's really pretty. They're all beautiful actually. Every single color is really pretty. And then this one's a lot darker. This is more of like a uh, darker, uh, like a, I don't know, fuchsia, I guess you would say. Ooh, it's pretty though. Although I don't wear too many dark colors, like that's really, really beautiful. Okay, so we're not gonna wear that one today. We're probably gonna do that second one, the middle one. I like that one the best. All right, let's go in with her pillow talk. This is just, I think her pillow talk is the name of the liner. This is the lip cheat. All right, I do love her lip liner a lot. I haven't used it in so long though because I have so many lip liners. And you guys know if you watch my channel, I just I just sharpened it. Is uh, I typically don't like to wear liners. Very pretty, I have some chapped lips. I've been putting everything on and I do have a lovely subscriber that recommended to drink a lot more water so I've been definitely trying to do that but my lips are so dry, it's just the weather too. Well, all right, let's go in with this second one because I really, really like this color. I don't even know what color it is. I'll put it right there. I'll put the one I'm using. The mini ones are hard to get on there because they're so small, but very pretty. All right, we're gonna take the Pillow Talk lip gloss and we're gonna try that out. I highly recommend if you have chap lips like me to always put a gloss on. I know it's kind of troubling at this time because we're always in masks, but. The texture is nice. It's, I don't know if it's my absolute favorite, but it's pretty, I mean, it's nice. It's still, I would still rate like Pat McGrath is probably like number one when it comes to in Marc Jacobs to lip gloss, but it is pretty. I do like it. You know, I just typically like more of those brown tones. This is a bit more pink, but this might actually be really pretty on its own too, because there's a lot of pigment in this, If you, especially if you like like pink lip glosses, but pretty. I mean, all in all, I like the way everything came together. I really do. I think the eyeshadow was absolutely stunning, and I did pop on my Bellamy eyelashes. I've been really loving those lashes a lot. They're just so easy to apply, and these are in Honey. Let's just go down the list here. So the foundation, I don't know. Like it's it's just, I'm, I'm this is my second time trying it and I just, I feel like it really accentuates my texture and my pores and my breakouts underneath and I'm having my troubled skin right now. I think if my skin was flawless, it would be beautiful because airbrush flawless foundation. But right now I don't feel like it's, it's just, that pretty on me. I don't know. The color was beautiful though. The 7.5 is so pretty. The primer, again, I like my Derma Blend one better. I really liked the Magic Cream. I might have to invest in the bottle because I really, I mean, it is a beautiful moisturizer. Wow. I can see why everybody loves it and why it's like the number one cream. It's so, so nice. It's expensive, but it's beautiful and it's very, very, very nice. And let's just see, hope it doesn't affect my skin. I really wish, again, these companies would come out with fragrance-free products. Please do that. All right, next in line was the contour stick. So I really like how easy it blended out. I do feel like it looks a bit muddy on me, but I don't know. I mean, that's just my thing. I don't know, I just typically like a little less cool tone in it, even though it's supposed to be like really it is supposed to be a cool tone when you do contour like that. I don't know, it just, I don't know, something about the mixture of everything just wasn't working for me as much, but it is a very good tool. And I think it really depends on the skin tone and all that as well. So I would recommend trying it out if you're, especially if you're a beginner in contouring, because I do really feel like it's good way for beginners to go into contour. It's a really easy wand and it's really easy to blend out. Super easy to blend out. I mean, insanely easy. Uh, what else? Oh, the concealer. Oh, where's that concealer out? Oh my goodness, you guys. So the texture's good. It is kind of like the Spanx type thing. It really does just like, 
like hold you in there. Uh, the applicator, the applicator has got to change. Charlotte Tilbury, if you ever watch this video, you gotta fix this. This, this is just, put it in like just a doe foot applicator type bottle and I think it'd actually be a really good seller. Not, not that big of a fan of that. I did do my brows with the legendary brows and my precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. So I did cheat a little bit, <laughs> but I, you guys already know this legendary brow. Uh, I think this is called star brow now. It used to be Linda is just, this is the most precise eyebrow gel type product yet. I mean, when I don't wear any makeup and I just want to put like a little something on, this is just perfect. I love this stuff. I don't know how I'd ever live without it. Oh my goodness, you guys, I totally forgot to use this. Oh, and it was sitting right there too. It's the Bronze and Glow palette. Why did I forget this? See, I have too many products, you guys. And it came with a little brush. I'll put the price point right there. Oh man, oh man, man. But we were using the highlighter anyway. Let's just see what this highlighter looks like. Here, let me give you guys a indication of what these look like. So very light. So this highlighter though, what? Let's try that on the inner corner real quick. Just, just curious, just curious guys. Now I have to, oh my goodness. I totally forgot about this. See, this is what happens when you have too much makeup. Oh, actually this is a really good inner corner one. Ooh, ooh, that one finally popped. I was looking for something to pop more there. That's really pretty. All right, let's just go in with it real quick. Oh, can't put it to waste now. All right. Oh, you guys. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. I like this. All right, let's try this with the bronzer underneath it. Like right here, just contour that out a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Oh, oh, hello. That's a good palette. That's a good gift, you guys. This is an excellent palette. I would have rather done this and not even done the cream contour, to be quite honest with you guys. Let me put some blush back in there. Oh, oh, and I love the packaging too. It has like little diamonds. Oh, this is my favorite. And I totally forgot. It was just sitting right here, you guys. I have too much makeup. This is ridiculous. And I like the little brush. I would recommend right now, since it's a holiday, that you would get the whole set, because, I mean, you're getting a good deal there. Okay, uh, blush. Love this texture. I would just have gone down to the actual pillow talk. I thought it was gonna be too light, so that's why I went with the intense, which it is beautiful. It's very dramatic, though. So if you're, like, like I said, if you don't like a lot of color, I would go down to the pillow talk, but very beautiful texture. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite blush texture ever, like ever. I just want to go down one more color. The highlighter. This is the star of the show for me. This is so incredibly beautiful. This highlighter is insanely pretty. And it's, again, not one that I have. Well, okay, I probably do. But let's let's be honest. We can never have enough new highlighters. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Oh, the corrector. Uh, I really like this corrector. It is really nice. It's probably one of my favorite color correctors out there. I think this is a perfect color for light to medium skin tones. Oh, that is a really good corrector if you're looking for one. I know the Bobbi Brown one's good as well, but I like this one even better. So good. And then we're going to top this off with this look with her spray. I have talked about this before and I love this spray. Oh, and it smells like a spa. I mean, it's, uh, it has like a, like a fragrance to it, but it didn't affect my skin, which I mean, let's hope it doesn't again, but I've only used it like probably like three or four times, but my makeup stayed all day. It was, it's a really phenomenal spray and it just makes you look glowy and refreshed. See how it just brought back my skin, like my skin through the powders and everything. So pretty. Well, that's it, you guys. That's all the products I have from Charlotte Tilbury. That was so fun to do a full face of one brand again. If you have any more recommendations or any other brands you want to see, please remember to comment below. I know Amber suggested doing either Bobbi Brown or Marc Jacobs, so I'm still kind of collecting items from both of those brands. If there's any others you'd like to see, 
I think Crystal mentioned doing a drugstore one, so I will definitely be doing that soon as well. There's a couple new foundations I found that I really like that are affordable. I really enjoy finding those little finds. I don't find a lot on the affordable brand section just because my face doesn't always react really good with drugstore brands, but there's a couple I really like, so I will be doing that video soon. I really love doing these videos. These are so fun to do just one brand. So if you haven't checked out my Hourglass and my Pat McGrath one, be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Please remember to utilize those links for all of the products I will have. This is my Amazon shirt. I have been finding so much. So follow my Amazon store link. I know I've been seeing it in every video. And then this is my Melinda Maria. Uh, I think this is the Mr. Big chain. Oh, you guys, I just love her jewelry. This is my mom's. And then this is the Smith necklace. I mentioned it on my last video. This was shown on Sofia Vergara. She actually has the one with this link, but uh, this is more like the thin chain. This is Smith. I think the other one, I can't remember. I'll show it right there. A lot of celebrities love her brand and she's a local girl. She's a Los Angeles girl. It's really fun supporting them. And I just love everything fashion and beauty. So this is so fun for me. Be sure to stay tuned for my Sephora haul. I do have that coming soon, you guys. I just have a lot of videos kind of lined up already and I have a hair one coming up as well. I love you guys so much. And again, if you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Join my glam fam. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram. And please give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me in the algorithm, you guys. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.